President Donald Trump, as we all know, can be very outspoken. But what about his wife, First Lady Melania Trump? Melania Trump is the most private First Lady we've seen in the modern era. Did you know that she's only the second First Lady born outside of the United States? And the first First Lady whose native language isn't English? But what else do we know about her? Melania Trump is... A mother, a wife, a daughter. Despite being a seemingly quiet individual, there was a lot about her that you probably didn't even know. She is smart, independent. She will decide what she wants to do and what she doesn't want to do. The role of the First Lady is an important one. She is there to manage the White House, has involvement in political campaigns, is a champion for social causes, and of course, she also represents the President on certain occasions. The First Lady is often looked to for advice and fashion and can be remembered after her stint in Washington just as much as her presidential husband. So what has Melania done during these last four years that we will remember her for? While she might be quiet, she isn't afraid to speak her mind. In an interview with People Magazine, Melania tells the mag, I'm my own person. I'm not a yes person. So I tell it as it is. I tell my opinions and I was always like that. And that's what is great about Melania. She is who she says she is. In her biography about the first lady, Free Melania, the author Kate Bennett says about the Flotus, she seems to have not compromised her Melania-ness at all to take on this role. Because of her strong personality, Melania has proven herself to be fiercely loyal, especially when son Baron is concerned. I teach my son to be respectful and responsible. And that brings us to her life inside the White House. But first, some backstory. Melania might not have started out life in Slovenia dreaming of becoming the first lady or even dreaming of being a model. She actually wanted to be a designer. But after becoming a model in the 80s, Melania later moved to New York City to further pursue her career in the mid 90s. She wanted to be where the action is. And if you're thinking she's the model stereotype, you're dead wrong. This is a woman who learned to speak five languages while modeling across Europe, making her the most linguistic inclined American first lady. I speak few languages. A few? Yeah. English? English, Italian, French. Melania told People Magazine, my opinion is that more languages you speak, better it is. But when you come to America, you speak English. While the model, according to friends, wasn't a huge partier, she did meet her future husband and the current president at a party in 1998. Yes, we had the great chemistry the first time. We've had great chemistry ever since. And she actually refused to give him her number, but instead asked for his. If you give me your numbers, I will. Um, I will call you. And their wedding? We're talking cover of Vogue, celebrity guests including Kelly Ripa, Barbara Walters, Katie Couric, and the Clintons. It was the affair of 2005. And when son Barron arrived the following year, it's reported that Melania took a hands-on approach to raising their son, helping him with homework and taking him to sports practice. Son Barron is the reason Melania didn't move into the White House right away, staying till June to allow him to finish the school year in New York. And I'm raising him, and this is the age he needs a parent at home. As far as what she does during the day, according to the Washington Post, Melania is an early riser, starting her day at 5.30 a.m. She helps son Baron get ready for school, does some light exercises, and as she told GQ in an interview in 2017, she eats seven pieces of fruit every day. But while her daily routine seems pretty standard, she does have causes that she champions, with her focus being on helping children. Her Be Best campaign has a strong focus on encouraging children to be best in their individual paths while also teaching them the importance of school, emotional, and physical health. Dedicated to the most valuable and fragile among us. Along with this, Melania also attends White House meetings daily, which author Kate Bennett, in an interview with The Washingtonian, says about Melania, she weighs in a lot more on events of the day than people assume. She is a powerful influence on Trump, but she only weighs in to her husband when she is personally compelled to. But weighing in on things with Donald isn't all she does in the White House. She also has the job of organizing and decorating for some of the events events that the President and First Lady get to host, like state dinners and the famous Easter egg roll. But all this isn't to say Melania doesn't take any time for herself. In an interview with Allure in 2011, she told the magazine some wise advice she received from her mother. When you take care of yourself, you can take care of others. Also, regarding the skin and the body, to have some relaxation time. It's good for your mind and your skin as well. To manage everything that she does, Melania needs a solid team behind her, and that is where the 100 dedicated White House staff comes into play. The Washington Post report she has an excellent relationship with White House staff, and as for her personal team, Melania sometimes only has 12 staff on her payroll. Compare that to Michelle Obama and Laura Bush, who are both rumored to have more like 25. And they're very professional and very neat. 
uh, team. Like with her son Baron, Melania is very hands-on, and while this might come as a surprise, Melania is also a lot nicer than people think. Melania Trump suffers from what all quiet and shy people suffer from. Because they are shy and quiet and not always super outgoing, people are quick to assume that they are a total ice king or queen. The first lady wasn't always wanting to share the spotlight with her president husband, choosing to be more of a background player on the campaign trail. But she did step up when it was needed, and this personality trait goes back to when she was a model. An unnamed source told Life & Style she's not the ice queen some think she is. Her European background may give off a certain air that people misjudge as cold or aloof, but that's not her at all. The same source also told the magazine she tends to keep to herself, but lately Melania's been opening up more and more to those around her, giving glimpses into her private world. It's as if she finally found her voice. Biographer Kate Bennett offers up a similar explanation in her interview with The Washingtonian. People find this hard to believe, but she's very warm and very friendly. The things about Melania that people assume, that she's cold and rigid and haughty, she doesn't let us tell any other story. I think for years she's watched Donald Trump and just does the opposite. While visiting London in December of 2019, the President and First Lady made a stop at a Salvation Army to make wreaths and ornaments with local children. As we all know, kids say the darndest things. And what was most surprising is that after the visit, these kids were asked for their take on Melania Trump. The school-aged children didn't hold back with one nine-year-old review being, I'm gonna be honest and say her makeup was a bit much. It made her look sad, but actually she was very happy. With another 10-year-old adding, my impression of her was actually really nice. Everyone was expecting her to be very grumpy, but she was actually very nice. Kids are usually pretty honest, and while in photographs she is often seen not smiling or being told by her husband to smile, behind those large sunglasses is someone who just might not be very comfortable in such a public arena. Which brings us to her love-hate relationship with being in the public eye and how she really feels about being the first lady. Melania, despite posing in many magazines during her time as a model, has made it clear she isn't a huge fan of the spotlight. Darren Staten, a body language expert, told Express in an interview that it was very clear from the outset this was not going to be a role Melania was going to embrace. Over her time in the White House, I have seen Melania openly demonstrate signs of disdain and contempt at times. Ouch. But he does mention that the First Lady isn't all doom and gloom. Also telling Express, you can always tell a fake smile because only half the face is engaged, and regardless of age, you will always see crow's feet at the sides of the face. Recent photos capture genuine happiness, and Melania is clearly happy. Do you, you still have a good marriage? Do you love your husband? Yes, we are fine, yes. However, an unnamed source tells People Magazine about Melania's time in the White House so far that what's happening is exactly what she didn't want to happen. They've literally become like the Kardashians. Scandals, divorces, headlines. According to Free Melania author Kate Bennett, Melania was or never has been trapped. Telling the Washingtonian, she really digs living in the White House. I don't think she would have chosen to be a first lady, but now that she lives there, I've never thought she was trapped. Trump always knew Melania would make an excellent first lady, telling People magazine before he won the election that Melania would be an amazing representative for our country. I could see her being very involved in women's health issues. She's an elegant person with a very big heart. She's very calm and confident, very very warm and very beautiful. She will be so beautiful and elegant and good from the heart. But what about life after the White House? Omarosa Menegalt Newman, a former assistant to the president, claims in her book, Unhinged, an insider's account of the Trump White House, that the first couple will split once Trump is out of office. Melania's response to this allegation? Well, her chief of staff released a statement basically saying Omarosa could not have had any insider knowledge of the Trump's relationship because Omarosa rarely, if ever, interacted with the couple when she worked in the White House, and said it's disappointing pointing that she is lashing out and retaliating in such a self-serving way, especially after all the opportunities given to her by the president. While free Melania author Kate Bennett, in an interview with The Washingtonian, offers this insight into whether Melania likes Donald. This answer always surprises people when I tell them. The answer is yes, she does. They speak throughout the day, on the phone, constantly. It looks like we might never really know how either of them feel about each other. Melania, it seems, will continue to be a closed book, at least until she is out of the White House. And even then, it doesn't seem like the former model is one to open up and share experiences, content to do her own thing and live her life. So don't expect a tell-all interview, though if there is one, we feel she will be quite reserved and politically mindful during it. No major bombshells here. She will, however, continue with her philanthropic endeavors as it was something she did before her time in the White House and of course continue being a great hands-on mom to Baron. So will we ever truly get to know Melania Trump like we 
did former First Ladies Michelle Obama or Hillary Clinton? How do you think Melania has done so far as First Lady? Let us know what you think in the comment section and then click subscribe for more new videos from us here at The Taco. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.